So here we're going to look at a method for rearranging formulae. Um, it does difficult ones, it does easy ones, but we're going to concentrate on the slightly more difficult ones. Now, you may already be looking at this left-hand side here, at Groff Groblet Find Answer. What on earth is that? Well, there's a long story behind it, but I'm not going to go into that now. Okay, it works though. So, what does it all mean? Well, if you can remember Groff Groblet Find Answer, you'll be able to remember that Groff means get rid of fractions. Grob means get rid of brackets. Let, well, I call it lump everything together, although your maths teacher might want to call it let's examine terms, but let's do lump everything together. Uh, fin, this is a bit of a cheat because find I've split into two things. Fin means factorize if necessary. Uh, not a lot of examples need that, but we will get there. And D means divide. And by the time you've done all of that, Groff Groblet find, you should have the answer. Okay, so as I say, we could do some really simple ones with this, but we're going to go straight in with some slightly more complicated ones. So let's have a look at this first one. I've got to make V the subject of this mess here. In other words, I need to end up with V equals. Well, let's just follow the rules. So, Groff Groblet find answer. The first thing we need to do is to Groff, which is to get rid of fractions. How do we get rid of fractions? Well, we always multiply by the bottom. If there's more than one fraction, we multiply by the smallest thing we can to get rid of the bottoms. So we multiply uh, both sides by two, multiply that side by two, and multiply that side by two. And the whole point of doing that is that on the places with the fractions, the bottoms cancel in some way, in this case, completely. And we get 2s is equal to u plus v times t. Now we're told to get rid of the brackets. Okay, and if you've looked at the tutorial on multiplying out uh, one bracket or simple brackets, you know that we just link the thing on the outside to each term in turn on the inside. So t gets linked to u and to v, and then we multiply. So 2s is equal to, well, the top link there is u times t, and the bottom link is v times t. So I've got ut plus vt. Now what does lump everything together mean? Well it means take all the terms with the thing we want in them, so that's the v, and put them on one side. Well they're all already on one side because there's only one of them, so we'll leave that. And take any term, here's a term without v in it, and put them on the other side, and there's another one here. And it would be sensible to put all of those on the left. How do we do that? Well, we subtract the ut from the right, and therefore we have to subtract the ut from the left as well to make things fair. And so lumping everything together, we get 2s minus ut is equal to vt. We don't need to factorize, we only need to do that if there's more than one term with v in it. Uh, there isn't in this case, so we go straight on to step 5, which is divide. And so we divide both sides by the thing in the way of v being on its own, which is, of course, t. So we divide both sides by t, and we see what cancels on the right-hand side. Very obviously, the t cancels. That was rather the point to get v on its own. And that gives us, as an answer, I'm going to write it the other way around, so it's v equals v equals 2s minus ut over t. And there we go. That is our answer. Right, let's move on to another question, uh, and let's look at um, this one. It's slightly different. It's not hugely different, but it's slightly different. This time we're trying to get x on its own, and we're going to follow the rules. Okay, so we're going to, first of all, get rid of fractions. This time we're not multiplying by a number, we're multiplying by a letter, and the letter on the bottom is b. So we multiply all the terms, or both sides, by b, and we get b's cancelling on the right-hand side, and that leaves us with bp is equal to 2x plus a. Now there are no brackets, so we can miss out step 2, 
Uh, we don't need to get rid of brackets because there aren't any. So we go straight on to step three, which is lumping everything together. And again, looking at the terms here, uh, I've got a term with X in it, which I can just leave where it is. And I've got a term with A and a term with BP, i.e. with no X's in them. So let's put those all on one side by subtracting A from both sides. And that gives me BP minus A on the left and just the 2x on the right. And now I divide. What do I divide by? Well, I've got 2x and I only want 1x. So I divide both sides by 2. And the point of doing that is that the 2s on the right cancel. And I can now just write down my answer. x is equal to bp minus a over 2. And we are done. Right, question three. This is the sort that normally strikes fear into the hearts of GCSE students. Uh, we've got a nasty algebraic fraction on the right, and we've got a term with x on the top and the bottom. But have no fear, because Groff Groblet is here. He will sort it out. OK, let's just do it, take it nice and simply, step by step. Step one, get rid of fractions. What's on the bottom? dx minus e. So we multiply the top, uh, sorry, both sides by dx minus e. And I'm going to put it in brackets because uh, it's a nasty thing, so I put it in brackets. But that doesn't stop it cancelling on the right. Again, the whole point of multiplying by the bottom was that it cancels on the side with the fraction. And now we just write down what we've got. So I've got uh, dx minus e times a is equal to bx plus c. And now, second step, get rid of the brackets. Again, nice simple thing to multiply out. We've got one thing outside the bracket. Link it to each thing inside the bracket. There we go. And then follow the multiplications. Follow the lines to do the multiplications. So dx times a, I'm going to write as a dx. I always tend to do things in alphabetical order. And then the bottom one, the bottom link, minus e times a is minus a e. Again, in alphabetical order, although it doesn't really matter if you don't. And I've still got my bx plus c on the right. Now, this is where the lumping everything together, that step three, gets a little bit more complicated. Okay, because I have got two terms with x, and I want both of them on the same side. So to do that, I'm going to subtract x from, uh, sorry, bx from both sides. I'm actually getting them on the left this time. And then I've also got, if you look, two terms without x. Uh, that's this one, the minus ae and the c. And I don't want those uh, on the same side as the x's. The x's are now on the left, so I'm going to add ae to both sides. Okay, so this is the lumping everything together. You can see why I might call it let's examine terms, because that's what I'm doing. So let's now go through what we've done. Uh, I've got ADX, uh, sorry, not DDX, but ADX on the left, uh, minus BX, the A minus AE plus AE have uh, cancelled out. And then on the right hand side, the BX minus BX cancel out, and I get left with C plus AE. Okay, now this is where the factorize if necessary comes in, okay, because I have two terms with x, and this often seems to cause a problem. But there is a common factor of x, and if I take that common factor out, and this is simple factorization, there is a tutorial on it if you're not sure, I get x times ad minus b, and that's equal to c plus ae. Okay, so let's just check this. x times ad is the adx, so that's that times that. And I've also got x times minus b, which is minus bx. So my factorization does work, because if I multiply it out, I get the right thing. And now, having done the factorizing, because it was necessary, I divide. What do I divide by? Well, the thing next to the x. So this time I need to divide by uh, all of that bracket. So that's AD minus B on that side 
and AD minus B on that side. Why do I do that? So that I get X on its own. In other words, the AD minus B cancels because it is a factor top and bottom. And I get left with X is equal to C plus AE over AD minus B. And Groff Groblet has indeed found the answer. Now these are not easy, these more complicated ones. So do go and do plenty of practice. There are lots of questions on the site.